really do. Like, I have a legit mayonnaise phobia. Just saying the word mayonnaise makes me, like, the salivary gland just starts running. And I feel like I might gag. And one time when I was in college, this roommate of mine chased me around the, the, our condo with a, like, Sam's Club size mayonnaise jar. <laughs> and he told me he'd give me $100 if I stuck my arm down in it. And I just ran for my dear life. So <laughs> great. Uh, I don't know what it is. Good job. Yeah. Press with your body. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. The first guest is Andy Frisella. Uh, that's the first guest on the Breadwinner podcast. He's just an incredible human being and, and one of the most real, raw, authentic, transparent, but insanely successful um, and something, someone that I look up to uh, tremendously. So he's gonna be uh, on the first episode, which will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So I'm super excited, man. Law of attraction, like I keep talking about it, but it's so real, this law of attraction. It's just the only thing that matters is putting good stuff out getting good stuff back and uh, making an impact it's Tuesday we're checking into our hotel and there was a little sign inside the hotel that said that there was a like success habits seminar going on uh, that night uh, with Dean um, Graziosi I'd never heard of Dean before which is kind of mind-boggling right now I looked him up and I was like holy crap this guy's got a huge following and stuff looked unbelievable you never know with those events, like whether it's actually him that's doing the event or whether it's his team. So I sent him a DM and I was just like, hey man, I just checked in this hotel. I saw you got an event going on here. And if you're in town in Atlanta, yeah, I'd love to meet up with you afterwards. And so the very next day, like not even 12 hours later, Andy Frisella posts an Instagram story with a picture of him and Dean together at First Form headquarters. <laughs> and he's just like talking about how awesome this guy is. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I, I didn't know this guy existed. I'm looking him up, I send him a DM. The next day, Andy's talking about him on his Instagram story. I'm like, this is just bizarre. And then to take it a step further, um, just a second ago, uh, Dean DM'd me back and he's like, hey man, apologize that I'm just now, uh, that I'm just now seeing it. And uh, <laughs> this is just how the world conspires. So, funny story, random story, but about to go in here and crush my next meeting. All right guys, so, just finished up the last meeting and I just want to talk real quick about how kind of the law of attraction works with your goals. And by the way, this is a tip from the whip. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like Michael Scott on the office right there. Anyways, so, you know, I use social media as an accountability tool and what it creates is just this law of attraction where it helps me make these goals come to fruition. So again, this week, my goal was to sell 50 life insurance policies. And I throw the goal out in the beginning of the week, I post it, and I keep people, um, help people keep me accountable by posting recaps of each day. Like, hey, after day one, I sold 16 policies. Day two, I sold 19 policies. So I needed 15 more today to hit that goal of 50. So I just got done with my last meeting and I try not to total up my number of policies as I go. If I can, if, I'm, if it's at all possible, it's difficult to do. I try not just to count them up at the end because it's kind of fun. Um, and we're gonna try to show these numbers on here because there's some important stuff on here. Um, so hopefully the camera angle's not down too low. But um, here we are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So ended up with 51 policies and uh, yeah, so hit the goal, and again, it was just this law of attraction. Like, 
I talked about 50 policies all week. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. And what I do normally through my process, like when I'm on the road, like I'm doing Facebook Lives throughout the day. Hey, just got out of this meeting, sold this many policies. And it gets to the point where like I'll have people on my Facebook Lives commenting like, hey, where are you at towards your goal uh, of hitting 50 policies? Hey, hope you hit that today. And it's like all of this positive energy going at this one number that I've said over and over and over. And I cannot tell you how many times I've been driving home on my last day. And I'm like, hey, my goal was 50, hit 50. My goal was 100, I hit 101. It's like always right at it, which always kind of makes me think like, well, what if I would have said to this week 60? Would I hit 60? Probably. Um, and it's just the way it works. So use these tools, not just as a way to, you know, boost your ego and put this information out there, but use it as an accountability tool. Like it will help you increase your sales, increase your productivity if you use it the right way. Um, yeah, so now we can head home with the Gold Crush. Don't, don't make it like, almost like, don't make it like, Almost. Yeah, kind just be like, like hey, make sure like yeah. well, this vlog comes out every day, but we don't know what time we're going to be able to post it each day. Make sure you click on the notification so you'll yeah, know as soon as exactly. it hits.